I don't think I'm ready for this, though. Okay, out of Delhi, father ends life in Delhi after learning daughter is a lesbian. Mm. Ooh, so, uh, yeah, this guy uh, with his young with his youngest daughter, he gets into a quarrel with her um, because she wants to quote unquote live with her female friend, um, and so he goes out into the middle of Zahadra's Farsh Bazaar. And he shoots himself in the stomach. Uh, residents found him lying in a pool of his blood. Um, and his family was present at the time that he did this. What a curse to leave your daughter with, right? Right. You think that you're responsible for, my, my, you know, I, I hope she's not feeling guilty about this. This is insane. Like, I don't know which is worse. Like, if I was the daughter for him to shoot me or for if I I don't know if she loves him or not but if she does if I love my father and I was like and he killed himself because of me I would have been like shit this is worse than if he shot me I don't know well yeah that's that's because you love your father so if you take it from somebody who like me oh, left yeah. my family over their raging hatred towards uh anything and everything but especially uh homosexuals my my family hated homosexuals my father would say constantly anytime uh will and grace would come on tv or anytime anything you know just he would curse them up one side and down the other to say that they were the worst abomination in the world hmm. um and it was it was horrible to to live that way so if this guy uh was so upset and so distraught that his daughter was in love with another woman uh and killed himself in all honesty you know it, it might be saving her a lifetime of torture right. um, and having to deal with his his bigotry. Homophobia. By the way, this how how big of a deal is homophobia in, in India? This is India, right? Yeah. Yes. So, it is. Hmm. It is. Homophobia is really big. Like, uh, I was uh, I was like talking to Ali before the show. Like, men tend to be uh, more homophobic than women. Here, and like, like, I don't care I about think, that. Like, let's yeah, focus on uh, India. Whether in how how the situation is in India, yeah. right? No, I was talking about India. It was like here, and I think I mean like the father was like. Uh, I think the father was thinking like uh, he failed as a parent mm. that his daughter turned out to be lesbian. I think that's the case because many people are suggesting like uh, it is really good. It is way better than an honor killing. Uh, many people are suggesting that, and I think. That's my view. So that he he thought he failed as a parent. I mean, that's what that is what many parents think. If their child comes out as gay or lesbian, that's what most parents think that they failed as a parent. So and let, they will they will take you to a doctor okay. and something. But okay, but here's a yeah. question. Um, a lot of people think a lot of Hindus come and tell me that uh, homophobia is not a Hindu thing in India, and it was either that. They say the Christians or the Muslims or the British Empire that introduced the dif different people give me different answers, but that they brought homophobia to India and before that there was no homophobia in India. Is that true? Yeah. So yeah. So um, Hindu texts there have been Hindu texts where like it has been said that homosexuality is not uh, it is a kind of a disease and you need cow urine and stuff to cure homosexuality. Oof. There have been stuff like this in Hindu texts and but uh, I mean Hinduism is a very controversial uh, religion. Lots of controversies in there. So there are also some texts where the deities, the gods are gay. I mean so there are two male gods so okay. populating. Okay, yeah. so you have you can find places in Hinduism that is and as homophobic, but also gods that are gay. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, so got it. And also, also not but, just that. I mean, there has been even statesmen like you should accept even what seems to you unacceptable, okay. even if it's, so you, uh, it seems unnatural. It's like everybody could just pick whatever yeah. they want and go with that. Yeah, okay. they can cherry pick it. All right, Sang. Let me read some of the top comments. Okay, Marcus is saying. I mean, this is tragic in its own right, but it's more decent to him than. An honor kill is yeah honor kill yeah but every I mean if you compare things to honor killing, is that's a very low standard. Yes, this but but ha him killing himself is much better than him killing his daughter. But obviously that's a very low standard. Uh, another person that I can't uh, read their name is saying nice job natural selection very nice. Mm, I don't like that comment. I don't like people dying, even if they're homophobic or dumb or whatever. Michael is saying good for him. I'm sure that they'll show her. Uh, I don't think that was his intention. Why was? Uh, why are these comments so okay? 
Next comment is, thank the heavens he killed himself instead of hurting anyone. Good stuff, that's how honor killing should be, kill, like, kill thyself. I don't know, I don't like, I, I don't like promote, I don't like to celebrate people killing themselves, even if they're homophobes. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, no, I, I do agree with that. I don't think that it's something that we should be cheering, um, or, or anything of that nature. Uh, but I do... I, I would say that in this situation, I know that, like you said, anything compared to an honor killing is great. Um, I am, I am happy that right. uh, he didn't hurt her because we, we've we've spoken recently in the news about a, a family who refused to give their daughter a kidney because who wants to waste a kidney on a girl, right? right? Um, and here we have a father that cared so much about his girl. Uh, that her sexuality you know, affected him. So um, I don't want to cheer the fact that he he killed himself, but I definitely am happy that he wasn't like, well, she's just garbage, um, you know, and, and do something bad to her. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.